guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Joel here. Today is five tips to help you shoot better at long range. All right guys, tip number one is get a stable shooting position. This should be kind of obvious, but what may not be obvious is at the start of your stage or whatever it is, take that extra time to make sure you're getting stable. There are a number of ways of doing this. The main one is with a barricade bag like the Reezer Precision Game Changer. You want as much surface area as possible for the rifle to rest on. You want as little movement in the rifle system as possible. You want the only movement at all in this system coming from your body if there's any of that, right? A couple of things you can do. Now you wanna make sure that the rifle is balanced well, and then when you place it down on a, on a platform like this barricade bag, you wanna make sure that it's in its balance point and it's not tipping. It should sit there just like this without you touching it, even on a windy day like it is today. Get that platform built before you start shooting. Let's see how it looks. All right guys, tip number two is to point your rifle at the target prior to sitting up behind the rifle. Okay, so I'm gonna look off in the distance, I'm gonna find my target, and I'm gonna orient, gonna orient my rifle to where I feel like it's pointing directly at that. A little pro tip here at this moment is turn your magnification out a little bit, say 15X, something like that. Sorry. And um, then you can get a wider field of view to help find your target. Third tip is square up behind your rifle. Not, not cant it off to the side, not cant it off to the side. Sometimes you can't help it, you know, depending on the, the position. Um, but as much as you can possibly help it, square up behind the rifle, all right? Now I know the camera's slightly off to the side, so it might look like I'm angled. I'm not. So I've pointed my rifle to my target down there, 300 yards, and I'm gonna square up straight behind the rifle. And I'm gonna take my position, into the rifle, getting a good cheek weld and shoulder weld before taking the shot. That'll help me mitigate recoil. It'll also help me to spot my misses or my impacts because the recoil will, will come back in a straight line as opposed to if I'm canted off to the side of a rifle and that rifle recoils back and it hits my shoulder, it's gonna tip and move out to the side. It's probably one of the main reasons you can't spot your misses or your impacts uh, if you're having trouble doing that. Square up, straight behind the rifle, all right? All right, guys, fourth tip has to do with your trigger finger. You want your trigger finger to be 90 degrees, so when you are Maintaining your good position here, you need to adjust your grip. Thanks to the MDT grip, I can adjust this exactly where I want on this MDT ACC chassis. In order to grab the gun the exact same way every time, consistency is king. Hopefully you can see my trigger finger, but it is roughly 90 degrees, okay? You don't wanna to go too deep. You don't wanna to be too far out on the pad. When you press, you want that to be 90 degrees. Don't forget to follow through, hold that trigger to the rear after the shot goes off until you see the impact or the miss, then release, run your bolt. Let's take a few shots. All right guys, tip number five, last one, is how you position your bag dependent on the type of barricade 
that you find yourself on. So this one in particular is a very kind of thin, sharp rock here, right? There's a very thin ledge. Might as well utilize that barricade bag the way that it was designed with that cutout on the bottom. And that makes a nice stable platform. But what if the top of your barricade is mostly flat? Let's check that one out. All right guys, so if your barricade that you're shooting off has a flat top like this rock, go ahead and take your barricade bag and turn it sideways. We want a lot of surface area, right? Surface to surface contact, as much surface area as we can possibly get. So turn that barricade bag sideways and place that rifle up there in its balance point. You'll be good to go. Six hundo, no trouble for the 308. Of course, the invisible wall's at 800, right? <laughs> 